Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used a white card blank of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, and folded in half and burnished. A piece of white cardstock at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside. A piece of black, basic black at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and a piece of white at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. The stamp sets I used is beautiful promenade and I used this image and the leaves. For the background I use beautiful you and I just use the two I think they're dresses but I use these two bits and the sentiment I just used happy birthday at wonderful moments the thread here I've got some gold thread on this one you can see that I used this but I'm going to use the silver one these I bought in the Nelms I think it was I think that's where I got them from. I'm not quite sure. I've had them for a little while anyway. So I'm going to use the silver one on this one. On the background I used a piece of ribbon which is this stuff but because I'm using silver I don't want to use that. I'm going to use this. It's got glitter on the end of it. Oh edges and I've stuck it already to a piece of black card which is three and seven eighths by three quarters and I just stuck a piece on there and it will sit across like that I've already cut out the doily piece let's put that on there so I've already cut that out from the um, dies to go with beautiful promenade I use this this doily I've cut the leaves out two leaves and I've also cut the flower that goes on top so they're already done so we just need this bit for the stamping oh and a stitched circle this is number three number one being the smallest so this is number three hope I haven't confused you right oh this wasn't my idea I got this from Pinterest and me being me always forget the name but not this time I got it from scrapbook and cards it's the only thing I could see I did click on her um, YouTube channel and believe it or not she does the most beautiful scrapbook pages I've ever seen you should check it out so it's scrapbook and cards if you're into scrapbooking check it out so I'll just sit up there right for this we need and I've got bits of glitter on here we need what do we need Oh, I'm going to do it in the new Seaside Spray. I'm going to do the background in that. So we need a scrap piece of paper because it is quite a dark colour on its own. And with the shapes from Beautiful You, I stamp off. <laughs> Let's do this again. Stamp off and then stamp it down. Stamp off. That's all I'm doing. Stamping off. Like that. And then one there. 
that'll do that one. And then with the other one, I just filled in some gaps. I don't want to fill it all in. Here, what do you reckon? Yeah, like that. All right, this time I'm going to add some dots. I was meant to add it to the last one, and I forgot. So I'm going to add it to this one. And these dots, I'm going to do full strength. So I'm going to do some there. Just a few. Can't see, won't see that one. Right. That's it. That's my background. Then with my black. Versifying and the flower. I'm going to stamp these on the page and off the page. Just randomly stamping the flowers on. And that is what that looks like. Right, let me clean this one. And with the leaves, I got piece of which I never got out. Just it no. Just a little bit. And I put leaves on. Now what I did I put the post-it note where I want to put the stem. Just so that it doesn't go on the flower, rather than um, do a whole uh, that's it. Rather than do a whole um, what do you call them mask? I've just done that, and I've just marked that. Let me see. Oh, that'll be hidden. That's all right. So we're going to put a flower there, a flower, a leaf. Put a leaf there. And it's better. And put a leaf. There. Where else can I put one? Put one here. And one at the bottom here. Don't really need them there because by the time you put that on, you can't see them. Right, that'll be enough of them. If you're unsure of using just a bit of um, 
post-it note like I did. You can cut yourself a mask out. And I'll tell you what we did forget. We forgot to do the spare flower. So just bring this back. And stamp off, stamp off. And then just stamp it randomly on a um, scrap piece of paper. And then do that. And then with your flower, you just stamp it over the top and cut that out. And as you can see, it's got some colour in it. Something's clicking on this table. to do the sentiment so with my happy birthday and the black ink we just stamp that down like that and we'll punch that out using the Label punch. I think it's called a classic label punch. I'm not sure. Right. And that's that. So I don't need that because I've got the flower. Don't need that. Get rid of that. And so that's what we're left with. All we've got to do is find your card base. Just glue this before we build it up on front. Just glue this onto our card. Don't fold that very well. That's Right now, I don't think I've stuck anything, only the flower on dimensional. So, this we're going to put here. So, glue the middle and then just put spots of glue where you can. There are some big bits in this that you can dot some glue and I'm just going to lay it right there. Like this, the circle I'm going to put to the edge and the bottom of that, I'm going to call it a doily leaf doily like that but first I want to put some of this silver thread looping it on but what I need 
is. A glue dot. And I'm going to put the glue dot here. Put the end in. And loop it round. Loop it round again. So I want two loops of it. And cut the excess off. Very soft this uh, thread, so that's all it is, it's just thread. Right, I forgot something, so we'll just place that to the side a minute. I'm going to glue this black card on. And I want that touching the edge. So that the silver ribbon's sticking out a bit. And then we're going to glue this on. Stay over. That's it. <clears throat> and we get the flower that I cut out already. I'm going to put that on dimensionals and find them. And we want two on the bottom. And two on the top. Take the backings off. And just place that over the thread like that. And then we're going to place glue, a leaf there, can't pick it up, leaf in there somewhere, like that, and a leaf at the top. I think that looks alright. So bit of glue and then this will sit under there on dimensionals. So we need our minis for this one. So 
so it backens off. And place that. Not too far. Under there. Let me like that card. I think, I don't know if I like the blue or the pink. This one I did in um, petal pink. And this one's been done in seaside spray. I think they're both quite nice. But I haven't put gems on either of them. So, bring my gem box back. Let's put some gems on. She says, right, I'm going to stick two there and one at the top there. And those are my gold ones. Oh, never put the inside in. What did I do inside this one? Nothing. Let's put the inside in. Right, if you like that, please give us a thumbs up and a share. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon next to it, you should be notified. Although one woman is having trouble um, getting notifications. But saying that, I don't get notified of all the other um, card makers I subscribe to. But I do get most. Um, yeah, saying that, and also check out um, Scrapbook and Cards and see hers. I think she'd appreciate it. All I can say is thanks for watching, or oh, thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.